History abounds in stories of men who rose to meet the challenge of destiny. Brave men, touched by the fire and passion of revolution. This is a story torn from the romantic and violent pages of history. A true story of two noble brothers, of the bond of sympathy that united them, and of their devotion to a just cause. Their daring adventures have been too long unremembered, perhaps because they did not seek personal glory. But on this bright summer day in Paris, fate is about to take a hand. Lord! Lord! Come on, sit down. All right. Cold square. Thank you, I'll see you later. <laughs> Monsieur Smangoid, seafood plate. Oh, man, no wonder he was never turned over here. They don't speak English. Hey, how much money we make today? Hmm. <laughs> we the pile today. What's the smangy worth today? I don't know. But don't you love it, man? In America, they'd arrest us for playing on the street. Here, they pay us to leave. <laughs> That's culture, Hoss. Don't you forget it. Hey, what's this? It's what you ordered, seafood plate. Seafood plate. Get it out of here. Go on, the king's allergic. Can't eat clams unless they're attached to something. Don't forget that. Do you realize we revolutionized rock, man? Mm. Do you know how many places we haven't played where they won't want us? That's a revolutionary thought. Rock and roll, man. That's what's going to change the world, you know? A lot of people think it's going to be a revolution. It's going to be a music revolution. Rock and roll, man. You, you have the mark. Your arm. Your leap. You have the mark. He has the mark. You have the mark. Are you brothers? Yeah, we're the Marx brothers. I have something so important to tell you. But first, I need money. Tigers and money. It's coming, it's coming. I need more money, it's coming. Give us more money to come quicker. It's coming. <laughs> money, more money. OK, I'll tell you the first part. Just a long time ago, on an island far, far away.
Even before their birth, the lives of the brothers were marked by irony and intrigue. Their father was a rich and powerful aristocrat, and had it not been for a romantic indiscretion of his passionate young wife, our heroes might have been raised as gentlemen, and we would have no story to tell.
despite the tragic loss of their fathers, Lucien and Louis, as they were called, spent a happy childhood humbly raised as peasants. upbringing could not disguise the fact that these were no ordinary peasants. They betrayed their origins by a bond of sympathy so extraordinary that each could feel the joy or pain of the other in his place. And as the years passed, this would prove to be a heavy load to bear. I'm going to the market. But now, you boys be good. Yes, Nanny. Think of a story. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, 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 a, a dragon came by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. A dragon came yeah. by, and, and he breathed on the house. And, and caught it on fire. And it caught on fire. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And, and, and then we killed it. Yeah, no, no, no. We were, we were going to kill it. Yeah, we were going to kill it. But then it, it flew away. It flew away, and then we killed it. And then we killed it. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. And, and, and we were putting out the fire. Yeah, uh, we, 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 we were going to put out the fire and, and... And the gypsy stole us. Yeah, just just before we put out the fire, the gypsy stole us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And, okay. And, then they, and then they took us across the river. Yeah, and, and, and they killed us. No, no, no they were no. going to kill us. No, they were going to kill us. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They tied okay. us up with a golden chain. Yeah, okay, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. yeah. But then we killed them. Yeah, okay. with the guitar. Yeah, yeah, we killed them all. Because they were going to come home and, and kill everybody at home. Okay, okay, okay. Don't believe that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go home. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what? where are you going? I'm going home. No, no, ho home's this way. No, home's this way. Hey, you're stupid. Home's this way. Hey, you're cuckoo. It's that way. Afraid not. Afraid so. Afraid not. Afraid so. Afraid not. Afraid so. Afraid not. Afraid so. Well, I'm home. home. Home's that way, stupid. I'll be there before you. You're going to get lost. Afraid not. Wait and see. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no quiero caminar. Looks like the place. 
Hello? Anybody home? Nanny? Hello? Where's everybody? Hello? All right, one move and you're dead. Who are you and what are you doing here? Uh, I came home. I used to live here with my brother. You're lying. I used to live here with my brother. Lucien. Yes. It's me, Luis. Don't you recognize me? I'm your brother, Luis. You're lying. My brother wasn't Mexican. Look, it's me. Ow! Luis! <laughs> Where did you go? I, uh... I, um... I got captured by gypsies. And, um... And uh, uh, they told me uh, to uh, Mexico. You're lying. You got lost, did you? I didn't get lost. You did. The gypsies captured me. I, I, I've been living in Mexico all this time. <laughs> you look, you look great, but but you look so, so Mexican. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I'm a big landowner there now. <laughs> they call me Don Luis, except for when I'm mad, they call me Crab Louis. <laughs> it's a Mexican joke. <laughs> you look, uh, you look terrible. What's going on around here? Where is everybody? We've fallen into terrible times since you left, my brother. Evil men rule the country. All our people are either dead or in jail. These evil men, they, they rape the fields and pillage the women. That's evil men. Indeed. There were only two things a French peasant could count on. Death and taxes. And given the sometimes overzealous methods of the tax collectors, one often preceded the other. It's good to be back in the woods. It's so peaceful. <sighs> it's poison oak, my brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey. Hey, brother. Hello. Huh. You would have been dead, buddy. What are you doing? Practicing for the revolution. With a potato? Ah, but not just a potato. Look at this. Bomb de terre. <laughs> In back of every murderous deed was the evil Fouquet. My little poofter, eh? You must not soil your delicate little paws with this dirty peasant. Eh, poofter? You know what he has been doing, eh? He has been stealing a log from the royal forest. <laughs> he tell me it is for his hobble. To warm his starving children. <laughs> Mon Dieu, if you believe that, you believe something, eh? I know what it is for. It is to make weapons. And he should know that weapons are forbidden in my kingdom. Or at least uh, the Queen's kingdom. <laughs> or so she thinks, eh? <laughs> oh, my lovely little poofter, eh? Give me a kiss. <laughs> Halitosis, eh? No! 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 Uh, my friend, you see, we are so considerate to you dirty peasants. We have brought your wife, eh, to join you for company. <laughs> are you sitting comfortably? You are. We can't have that. <laughs> Stretch his legs wider. Wider. Ever had a taco? Uh, I guess they don't have tacos in France. Uh, oh. I remember one time this restaurant I used to work, I mean, uh, own, 
Uh, they had a contest to see who could eat the most. <laughs> I ate 143. And I was still hungry. <laughs> but they had to close the restaurant. <sighs> I'm so hungry I could eat a bowl of lard with a hair in it. Here, puppy. Here, puppy. Yeah, I will teach you enough to fuck you. Ah, oh, my God. I have been hit with shit. Harry, feet, feet. Feet. Pufta, <laughs> did you see what the... Hey, Pufta. Oh, my God, where is my little Pufta? Oh, I mustn't lose my Pufta. Uh, Excuse me, uh, I'm so sorry to bother you when you are so busy, but uh, have you seen my poofter? No? Oh, my God! No, 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 don't come back! Look for my poofter! <laughs> There's a lot of meat on one of these little suckers, huh? What if he wants me? Hey, puppy! Come on! Come on! Here we go! Hey, you like it, huh? That tastes good. Guy's a vicious little dog, man. Goes right for the throat, huh? What a hunter. We gotta keep him around all the time. He belongs to Fouquier. Yeah. No wonder he's so vicious. <laughs> it reminds me. Better keep our eye out. Fouquier's men will be out here looking for him. Hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. Sorry, my brother. I should have known better. Hey, don't worry. We just got their dog. What's the most they can do to us? Hey, man, this is not going to be so bad after all. Oh, this is like a country club. Must be some of the other inmates. Hey, brother, let's not get into a gang. Well, that only complicates things, man. We'll just keep our nose clean, do our good time, and get out. <laughs> oh, wow, cool air. Hey, this is not going to be so bad after all. Oh, man, this ain't one of those prisons where they cut your hair. Did you see that? Easy, my brother. What? Look at these people. They envy us. Hey, you want to be me? I'll trade places with you right now. We're about the same size. allowing us the opportunity to show our people how real men die. You may kill us, Fouquier, but you will never kill the revolution. I am Corsican. I am not afraid to die. Bravo. Bravo. What a great pity that such uh, noble words should be your last words. Can I say something for a minute? Hey, I'm Mexican, and I'm afraid to die. I'm gonna live. And we didn't do nothing to your dog, I and mean, we didn't kidnap him, man. We found him, you know? As a matter of fact, you should be thankful, man. You should be giving us a reward, you know? But we'll, we'll let it go and let bygones be bygones. Just let it. Be brave, my brother. Let me be the first to die for the revolution. Let him be the first to die. Sure, be the first to die. Wait a minute, they cut his head off. I'm gonna feel the pain. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute.
My friends, you dirty, you peasants, I have decided in my great mercy, because <laughs> I am so tender-hearted eh, to spare the lives of these brothers Corsica. Hope of liberation floated in the air, but even as the brothers made their bold ascendancy to heroism, the missing pieces of their complex destiny were now falling into place. Their manly virtues were observed by the Queen's lovely daughters, who hid their affections behind a veil of royal upbringing. Let the taster do his job. I never get to eat. Sis, help me. What should I say? Oh, what a pity you miss the ends with such delightful executions. Eh? Such blood, such... Vomit. You're enjoying your breakfast. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I see you've, uh, you've not eaten your strawberries. Eh? I got them for you specially. <laughs> they are so good for you. <laughs> for him, they are not so good. He's allergic to strawberries. Who care? We all know what you're doing. They're not blind. Yes, I know what you mean. <laughs> Believe me, I too am disappointed that I had to spare the lives of these Corsican brothers. Nothing more I wanted than their death. But you see, they seem so popular with the crowd. <laughs> but don't worry. I have something in store for them will make the guillotine look like a child's play. <laughs> You're disgusting, vile, horrible, cruel. Perverted! Perverted! S -s 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 Perverted! Uh, that is the one I wanted to hear. Oh, you've made my day. <laughs> Perverted. My God, it's nice to know you're appreciated. Believe me, if you weren't a woman, I could kiss you for that. <laughs> Don't be a stupid fucker. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm still hungry. Bring me some eggs! Is it ready? Yes, sir. The oil is nice and hot. Eh? Yes, sir. Uh, see. Ah! Keep your fingers still, you fool. How else can I read it? Oh, yes, two hundred and... 30 degrees centigrade. That's quite hot. Make it water. Enjoying my hospitality. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, my favorite room. You know, I've got a surprise for you. For me? Yes, but you must do something for me first. Oh. Now, I want you to entertain your fellow prisoners down here, eh? Because they have no entertainment. So, I want you to stand over here and 
entertain your prisoners in this exact spot. It has to be exact, you see, because uh, of the light on your face. Eh? <laughs> now you entertain your prisoners and then I'm going to give it to you. You're going to have a surprise. Hey, what kind of a surprise is it? Is it something you can eat? Uh, if you like greasy food, yes, you can eat it. Now, just stand here and uh, please entertain your fellow prisoners. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, sing or dance or tell a joke? Or... Doesn't matter. Entertain means you do all kinds of things, oh. yes. So you are going to sing, dance, anything, but you must stay in the spot. Do it quickly while it's still up. Now, give me a chance to get clear. Could it be a dirty song? Dirty prison dirty songs with these <laughs> dirty prisoners. Yes, sir. Sing this song. God's sake, make sure you're in the right place for the light. Now sing, sing. <laughs> can I have a guitar? I can really get into it. You don't guitar. need a guitar. No, you, uh, you can accompany yourself with your mustache. Yes. Now, come on, sing your dirty prison song. Now, sing, sing. Sing it, please. I don't know another song. You are a bloody imbecile. All I'm asking you to do is to stand on this spot and sing a song, any song. Such a beautiful song, Fouquet. You should teach us the words. I'm over here, my brother. Over here. Easy, easy, my brother. Easy. Easy. Come.
you. What are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be in here. Don't hide from me. I see you. You know, you'd be in a lot of trouble if someone else had found you. Lucky I found you first. Stand still. Yeah, let me have a look at you. You know, I've been looking for a stud like you. You've got a great ass. You're gorgeous. Mm. I can't wait. You know what? Tomorrow morning, I'm going to sneak out, and I'm going to take you for a long ride. I'm going to ride you till you drop. Then I'm going to find a nice lake. Then I'm going to bathe you and to massage you. You'd like that, wouldn't you? And then I'm going to put something on you to keep those horrible flies off you. Go! Quickly! Got my hand. beautiful lady gave that to me tonight, my brother. She saw me in the barn and fell instantly in love with me. You're lying. This is the most gorgeous girl I've ever seen in my life. She gave me this. She's so gorgeous. She kissed me. Well, my brother, <laughs> I hate to hurt your feelings. She may have kissed you, but she's in love with me. She told me we're going riding tomorrow. <laughs> you lying. Don't you ever talk about the woman I love like that. Stand up. Now, she's my girl. You got that? OK, OK, you're right. She's your girl. <laughs> no, no. Don't you say that. She's my girl. 
Don't say she's my girl. Okay, you're right. She's not your girl. She's my girl. Stupid now. Come on. Hey, come on. I don't want to hurt you. You'll never get close to me. Come on. Let's fight now. I'm not going to fight you. Don't embarrass me in front of your friend. I'm not going to embarrass you in front you of your friend. There she is. Look, there she is. There's two of them. There's two of them. I'm finished. Oh, oh you do that so good. <laughs> oh, you like that, huh? I've never had anybody do that for me. Do you think you could do it again? Again? Just a little, unless you are tired. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm not tired. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I could do this all day. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's what I used to do for a living. <laughs> I work for a guy, I mean, I uh, owned a big horse ranch in Mexico. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Uh, we had 10,000 horses. 10,000? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. What kind of horses? Um, oh, they were uh, uh, brown, mostly brown. Hmm. Yeah. Did you do all the breeding yourself? Uh, no. Uh, we had a horse for that. I remember one time my cousin, though. <laughs> oh, never mind. You know, I can't imagine being with anyone but someone that was into horses. Yeah, you just gotta know how to treat horses, you know? I mean, a lot of them like to be treated, you know, just like really gentle. <laughs> What's that? Oh, sorry. It's just my sword. It keeps getting in the way. Would you like to see it? No! It's okay, because I couldn't show it to you anyway. My father always told me, never show your sword unless you intend to use it. Anyway, mine's broken. It's broken? Yeah. Well, I've mistreated it for years. So foolish. I used to go around sticking it in everything. Stuck it in the watermelons. Just practicing. One day, I stuck it in the dirt. Broke the tip off. It really hurt me. But that's okay. I'm gonna get a new one. You can get new ones? That's why I have to get into the castle. Because that's where they keep the good ones. Yes. I need a good, strong one this time. Oh, Francois has a really good one. But it has to be big. Oh, Pierre. This is too big. They can never be too big. Not if you know what to do with it. You see, sometimes if they're big enough, all you have to do is show it. And people will run. Oh, that's what I did. I think 
he really likes you. <laughs> nice horsey. <laughs> ah, yeah. I love horses. <laughs> They're really nice. <laughs> José. It's pronounced Jose. Hi, Reina. I'm so happy to know you. Thank you for inviting us. It's such a nice casa you have here. <laughs> Go do your hair. Oh. It's okay. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Gracias por la invitación. Oh. It's me. I'll meet you later. I've got to see you. Gracias por todo. Gracias. My darling, I got your message about meeting later, eh? <laughs> Monsieur Nostradamus. The brothers were not masters of impersonation, but the strength of their resolve oh. made up for it. And they soon found themselves comfortably situated in the palace, at ease with their aristocratic enemies. They knew how readily the princesses would throw themselves in the path of love, if given the chance. But even that temptation did not spoil the supreme poise with which they carried off the masquerade. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, I'm so glad I'm here too. This is so much fun. <laughs> 
Okay, we're going to turn you around. All right. You feel like that. There you now go. Now tell me, what is it like in Spain? Oh, honey, that's the end of the world. You want to talk about the end of the world? That's the end of the world. Oh, oh it's so hot there. Is it true what they say about the Queen of Spain? I don't know what they say. That she's bald. <laughs> she's bald? <laughs> she, honey, she got more hair on her legs than she got on her head. Oh. <laughs> and what about all those lovers? Oh, God. They don't call her the free holy for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she like a doorknob. Everybody gets a turn. <laughs> That's a yoke, huh? Oh, a good yoke. <laughs> yeah, they were gonna name a port of entry after her. <laughs> Greetings, my peasant brothers. I bring good news. The revolution goes well. Soon, I will be able to free you from your miserable existence. Take heed, have faith, and au revoir. Can I ask you a personal question? Oh, surely. Where your daughter's room is? Oh, my daughters. They're so lovely, they're just like their father. Oh, whatever happened to the king? I don't see him around here, never no times. Well, one day he went hunting with the Fouquet, and then he never came home again. I don't trust that Fouquet. He's a sneaky guy. Well, you have to trust someone. It's hard being the queen. <laughs> I know what you mean, <laughs> especially in these pants. Clear in his purpose, Lucian searched for a weapon strong enough and big enough to intimidate friend and foe alike. I'm not lying to you, that's the truth. <laughs> they were so big and she thought nobody would notice them. She would just put a dress on, nobody would notice them. <laughs> she was so stupid. Oh. And she didn't tip at all. <laughs> How'd that feel? That's okay on you, the hot air? Yeah. Feel like a night in Malaga, huh? A nice hot blowjob. I hate it. I want to look nice for my rendezvous with Duhiki. You're gonna look special, honey. You're gonna look like you never looked before. Now you just relax and go to sleep. I give you a little massage, okay? Now just be quiet and go to sleep. My darling, I've been looking all over. Ah! Oh. Sorry. Wait till 
Well, you see them, my brother. There's one pair that's just incredible. What are you talking about? Come here. They're in here. There they are. Yes. Now, if we can just get them off. Let's get them drunk first. Hi, ladies. Hey, this is more like it. Did you ever see a one-night trouser snake? Melon season. Don't play hard to get. I know you want me. Hey, I want you too. Why do you think I'm dressed like this? Hey, baby. Oh, excuse me, sister. Come on, honey. Those girls don't mean anything to me. Ever since you gave me that look this morning, I don't even think of girls. All I think of is you. I just... Come on, baby. I can take you away from all this civilization. We can run out into the jungles in Mexico and be love savages. I'll be your king, and you'll be my love queen. We can open a taco stand. Just tell me where you are, little pussycat. Come on, baby. Oh, honey, you make me so happy. Oh, oh, I want you. I need you. I have to have you. And so you share, my darling. Get away from me. I don't like intellectuals. They're too stupid. Don't be afraid. I'm not an intellectual. I'm a revolutionary. Don't you know who I am? Oh, it's you. Well, then what were you doing in that room with all those girls? Uh, I was just looking for my sword. They had your sword? Yes, they were holding it for me. They were holding it? Yes. You told me that was my job. <laughs> My darling, my darling, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. I've been searching all over for you. Listen, I just want to tell you. Ah! Ah! What's wrong with you? Nothing, nothing. I've got so much to tell you. Now listen, listen close. Ah! Ah! That don't hurt. You think that hurts? That don't hurt. Come on, let me down from here. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm Catholic. This is worse than the Inquisition, my God. Come scream. on, let me no, down from here. This one is going to hurt. By God, strong men have died before now. With this one, this is Montezuma's revenge. Eh? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> There's something. 
something wrong. We're having fun. Come on, let me down for here. I'm getting tired from this. Got bad security, and we're going to try it upside down. Hey, come on, I gotta go to the bathroom now. Let me down. Yeah, well, this will stop you going to the bathroom. Don't worry now. My God, you're going to feed it this time. Oh, my God. Why don't you scream? If you don't let me down from here, I'm going to give you such a scream. Now, let me down! Here. He has my brother. It's getting cold in here. You got a blanket or something? Oh my God. He's inhuman. He's going to be the death of me. I'm not even going to enjoy it. Free my people. You free your people? You got another party? They're tied up somewhere else? I join the other party. Don't worry. Hey, but don't go. Please. Please. No, whip me. You can have a quick whip round. Please. Oh, guards, guards, stop them. They're escaping. They haven't whipped me. Guards. Where are those guards? There's no guards, man. Come on, let's go. No, we must fight our way out of this. Hey, brother, we must fight our way to freedom. We can't fight here. Come on, let's go. You're right. We can't fight here. Fight down here, right here. What? This is a place to fight. This way our back is protected. What are you talking about? Let's get out of here. Come on, there's nobody here. Guards, get out of here and fight. Come on, get out of here, you coward. Come back, come back. A mistake. Come, come. No, no, run. Come back and fight. No, no, run. Go back to sleep. Yes. Come, fight. No, come on, come, come on back. Yes, come. No, go away. Go come back. on, you coward. Let's fight. No, let's not fight. Let's, let's kiss. Go back. Please, my darling, go back. I've been looking all over for you. Okay, don't hurt her. Don't hurt her. Oh, how charming. Oh, oh, oh. We give up. <laughs> so, my friends, we have caught you, eh? And you wouldn't beat me, eh? <laughs> so now, I'm going to whip you to death. You may whip us for care, but you'll never beat us. Don't worry, my brother. You can't 
messed up men who want to be free. <laughs> Yes, I can see it, my brother. What is it? I can see the Big Dipper. Dip? Yes, I can. And I can see Venus. And I can see the moon. All I see is Uranus. It's out there, my brother. Yes. We're in luck. Because if that's the Big Dipper, that means the North Star is... Let's see. Take the bottom star from the cup and you align it with the handle. Well, you know what I see? I see a big idiot standing in front of me. I mean, why do we always got to stay and fight? Why couldn't we escape when we had the chance? My brother, there are some things that you cannot run away from. If this revolution is to survive. Men like me must fight. Even though the cause is hopeless, we must fight to free our brothers from the chains of oppression. What brothers are you talking about? The only brothers I see around here is me. And all you do is get us caught. I mean, did you ever stop to think that maybe you're the only guy in the revolution? You know, like, like where's your followers, huh? Hey, would you follow this guy into a revolution? Of course not, because you got half a brain. So who's following him? <laughs> I've got an idea. Quick, take off your clothes. Hey, wait a minute. We're brothers. No, take off your clothes. Hey, you haven't been in jail that long. This should be enough rope. Look, if we're going to hang ourselves, let me be the first to go. I'm tired and hungry. And now I'm cold, too. I can just think of a way to get through those bars. There. You know, it's amazing. This French bread gets stale, it gets as hard as a rock. Ow! So what? You know, this just might be the tool we've been looking for. I think I can get through now, my brother. Lucian was not a man to forget his brother. He remembered how they had loved and cherished each other through the long years of separation, how deeply the fate of one had always affected the other, and his loyalty strengthened his heroic resolve. And so for his beloved brother Louis, Lucian prepared to draw together his peasant followers and bring an end to oppression forever. Hey! Come here, my brothers. The time has come. Listen to me. We have been living like miserable dogs long enough. Yeah! We must fight to take back what is ours. Yeah! We must tear down this miserable government and replace it with our own people.
Enough! Now today is a special occasion. Today we have the 5,000th execution this month. Eh? I'm very grateful to all you dirty peasants eh, for putting your heads together to increase productivity. <laughs> and for this special occasion, we have a special execution. None other than that disgusting, driveling, dirty peasant, the Corsican brother. Perhaps, you dirty peasant, you would like to say a last word. Who care? The only thing I want to say is you've kept me in a dungeon and you beat me and you tortured me and you even kissed me. Ugh. And I want these people to know that the only thing you've really done is made me really, really hungry. And that's not necessary. Mexican, I'm supposed to get a last meal. I never got a last meal. I didn't even eat French food. Thank you for those kind words. It's nice to know we have another satisfied customer, eh? I mean, there's ants in that basket. My only regret on this wonderful afternoon is that the other Corsican brother, the revolutionary, is already dead. Nothing would give me a greater pleasure then he should witness the death of his dirty brat. Hooker! I must have made all the The dead Corsican. I accept your invitation! His dirty brother shall not escape. Execute him!
France was delivered from tyranny and emerged into a new age of freedom. The evil Fouquier had perished, as was just. And of Lucien and Louis, it may be fairly said that theirs was a most special destiny. If I could be the one you love, if you would let this dream come true, then I would ask for nothing more But to live life loving you Oh, I'm so excited! I've never been married before! Don't do that! I'm gonna get pregnant right away! How long is this going to take? I have a riding lesson. Where is that brother of yours anyways? Boy, his swinging days are over. I'm gonna cut his rope right off. <clears throat> I think I need a drink. Wait, you can just wait back. You're just going to have to train him. Yes, we'll go to the opera, the ballet, to the theater. I'll have him take dancing and singing and elocution. I'm going to change the way he walks, the way he talks, the way he eats, his clothes, his pants, his jacket, his hair. Oh, I have lots of work to do. Yes, we'll go shopping, go to Paris. <laughs> <visit> <laughs> And so the Corsican brothers escaped from the pages of history. Thanks, brother. Yeah, let's go to America and start a revolution. All right, I'm with you. Hey, conduct the human. 
must slow down. I think I'll see you. Please let me off this bus, Nicky. Honey, is that you? Yellow cab on the deep. 